you're this perp back with another video and i just got done watching the brand new series out on netflix starring sarah paulson called ratchet um i don't even know where the fuck to start with this but before i get into this review hit that like button hit that subscribe button now i won't go too crazy the spoilers i just mainly want to focus on sarah paulson's character as Mildred Ratched. She's this nurse uh, with a lot of secrets, a lot of skeletons in her closet, indeed. This is Ryan Murphy's brand new series, and you know, I like Ryan Murphy's style. He brings this unique style. Um, it's very American Horror Story esque. You know, it has that vibes to it. There's definitely some people that you've seen from american horror story and just ryan murphy shows in general um and let me let me talk about somebody uh that's a part of this cast sharon stone i had no idea watching eight episodes of this i had no idea that was sharon stone she's 62 years old jesus but anyways this is mainly focused around sarah paulson's character mildred ratchet and you know she's a very caring person very determined person she doesn't like to be disrespected she's very assertive um and it's interesting when this first starts you know i will say that you know this the first half of this season was really strong and i think it peaked at episode six but when you put everything together it is a pretty jumbled mess in my opinion it's not going to be everybody's type of show but if you like ryan murphy and you like sarah paulson like myself this might be a show for you you might love and enjoy this show um i like the mystery aspect to this the thriller aspect the psychological aspect like where they pretty much show you what goes on in these mental hospitals uh back in the day like lobotomies uh putting people in these uh heat tanks or ice tanks i forget what they actually called it um just all the wild shit they used to do that's the most interesting thing about this um the story overall is is really a jumbled mess there's a lot of inconsistencies with certain characters there's certain things that just randomly happen um there's not really a definitive timeline even if they do show it 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 just doesn't really make sense when you really think about it um the performances by sarah paulson th this is her role this was made for her to do this you know this is her type of style she fits those old vintage type of period pieces very well um there's another actress that played charlotte i forgot her name but she i would say was the second best even though her character is also random there's a lot of random things that go on you also have uh finn uh Wintrock in this he's really cool he's the brother of sarah paulson's character mildred but you don't find that out until like episode two or at like the end of episode one i think uh the pacing is just really all over the place that's what i was saying like the pacing in the first half was better than the second half because once you get to the second half of the season things just go all over the place like they end up in mexico like how i i just <laughs> it's it's not a terrible show and it's not a great show I don't think this is going to be Netflix's next big hit. If they do have a season two, I think they need to tighten up on the writing a little bit, just the pacing and, you know, the style and this taking place in just a mental hospital. It does give you kind of uh, American Horror Story Asylum vibes, but that was well, that was better written than this. Like I said, uh, the best episode was probably episode six for me where we get mildred's backstory and it was told through like this puppet kind of format like this puppet show similar to how mr nobody's 
backstory was kind of explained through a puppet show on doom patrol if you haven't seen doom patrol definitely go watch that but this show um doesn't get me excited for a season two like i said the last episode of this was just just took me out of the show completely i was just like wrap this up please but sarah paulson was cool i think if you're a sarah paulson fan that you will enjoy this um if you're a ryan murphy fan you're automatically gonna like this i think but if you've seen this let me know uh i would definitely say check this out and just to get your own opinion for me i'm not really hyped for a season two but i'll probably check it out but till next time i will see y'all later peace